Hey everyone, it's Jason and this is your weekend cruise news update. And Carnival Corporation is making a major change to the way they advertise their pricing and I hope the rest of the cruise lines follow suit. Also, a huge cruise influencer has been censored because of AI. So cruise story number one, and I'm glad to see Princess Cruises learn from their mistake and make the right decision. So Princess Cruises and Fincan Terry Shipyard announced that the Star Princess, the second Sphere class ship, will not be ready by its inaugural sailing at the end of July. They're canceling nine sailings, and now its inaugural sailing will be end of September 2025. Now, if you followed along with the Sun Princess, which is the first Sphere class ship, it's been a mess. The first two sailings were canceled pretty much last minute, leaving a lot of travelers just, you know, with no other options. Also, when people finally got on the ship, they were saying a lot of the venues weren't even ready. They're still working on them. None of the shows were even operational and, and up and running. So that's a little disappointing, so I'm glad to see Princess realizing that they can't do that. It's a bad look. Do you have a Star Princess cruise booked? We do in January of 2026, so this is inching a little closer to that. Hopefully it's ready by then. So cruise story number two, a huge cruise influencer has been censored because of AI. So Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com does an excellent job. I'd venture to say if you've been on a Royal Caribbean cruise, you probably have watched him. He has great tips and tricks for Royal Caribbean. Well, he is on every one of the social media platforms. Well, last week, he got a notification his page was unpublished because it violated a community standard. That's all the explanation he got. Imagine how upset he is. It's just really unacceptable that Facebook does this. And it's like pulling teeth, actually, it's almost impossible to speak with anyone at Facebook regarding this. See, what they like is, is if you do a bunch of advertising with them, then they'll talk to you. I know this because I used to do real estate pages. And when you did a lot of advertising with them, yeah, that's when they would talk to you and you had a chance to get it reactivated. So what has happened is a, a side piece to this is there's someone on Facebook his got unpublished, but they're allowing another page to be published, stealing his content, has a different email address, trying to scam people, and they're basically copyright infringement because they're posting his videos on this page. Facebook allows this, but took away Matt's page. I can't imagine how upset he is by this. So I am going to put in my description his new Facebook page, follow along at that, feel really bad for them. It's just so unacceptable Facebook does this. So before I get to cruise story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also, consider subscribing as we're on the path to 100,000 subscribers by the time we go on our Alaskan cruise at the end of August. If you could help me with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. So cruise story number three, a cruise company is changing the way they advertise their pricing because of a new law. Has this ever happened to you? You're researching, you're looking for a cruise, and you come across, let's say, a great deal on a balcony. You get excited, the dates are working, you're researching cabins on YouTube, making sure they're good for you. You go get your credit card, and you've done a ton of research, maybe 30, 45 minutes, and you get to the final payment page, and it's totally different price than what was advertised. Well, this is no longer going to be allowed in California. Now, this seems to be targeting Carnival Corporation. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Why just Carnival? And the only explanation I had about this was because Princess Cruises is home-based out of California. So what Carnival Corporation said, and they're going a step further. So anywhere in the United States and Canada, after July 1st, they're going to start advertising the final price per person. Not going to be any trickery there, nothing without the port taxes or any kind of other fees. You're going to get the real price. I love that they're doing this. No more trickery. Royal Caribbean, MSC, NCL, you listening? You need to follow suit. No more trickery in this. I want the final price. 
So when I go to pay my final price, I know exactly how much it's going to be because I've already seen the breakdown per person. What do you guys think about this? What do you think about Carnival taking it a step further and doing the right thing? Now, it's going to be for Cunard, Princess Cruises, Holland America, and Carnival Cruise Line. So they're all those cruise lines that leave out of the United States. I think it's excellent. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for the support. And until I talk to you next time, happy cruising.